Welcome to TWD Symbolism Analysis, hosted by me at TWD Music Box Mystery, also known as author Lisa K. Hill. This is where we totally geek out about the recurring symbols we see in the show, what they mean, how they connect, and what they foreshadow. So if you're a TWD geek, come over to the dark side. We have Daryl. Good morning, Walker enthusiasts. So today I'm going to talk about the color schemes we often see around Beth in the show. There's quite a few things to talk about, and the thing about the colors is that much like the clocks, they are often hard to pin down. They can mean different things. So one of the first colors we noticed was red. In Beth's cell in 401, we see a red cloak or garment of some kind behind her. Now, it's not hard to figure out that red very often means death because it is the color of blood. Classically in literature, that's generally what it means. So you could see that as a foreshadow that she's going to go through a death arc of some kind. The other thing about red, though, is that sometimes, especially in Christian symbolism, red can actually equal resurrection. For example, there's a tradition of the red Easter egg, and the red combined with the egg are supposed to be symbols of Christ's resurrection. So even though red does equal death, it can also equal resurrection by itself. However, she's also surrounded by green a lot, and her last name is green, so that works out pretty well. Green, because most plant life is green, is classically used to represent life. So she has both life and death colors around her a lot. If we see these colors independent of one another, we can choose to interpret them that way, either as life or death, depending on what's going on in the scene. However, we sometimes see these colors together. One of the first big places I noticed it, though it probably was not the first place we saw it chronologically, just the place that caught my attention, was in episode 60. Eight. This is when the church has fallen on the Alexandria fence and all of the walkers get in. And Maggie climbs up a ladder to get onto the scaffold and she just barely gets away with her life. Well, she's wearing red shoelaces and there is a green cord that is hanging down by them. And the camera very obviously focuses on her shoes so that we get the red and the green together. Long story short, I've come to realize that the red and the green together represent death and resurrection, or the short of it is that it represents a death fake out. What this means is that it appears that a character has died, the other characters believe that character has died, and sometimes the audience believes that character has died, but then they will kind of be resurrected for us. Again, they actually weren't ever dead, but it seems that way, so it's kind of a death and resurrection in the show. Seeing the red and green in 608 represents that Maggie is part of a death fake out. Now, she is not the one who actually gets the death fake out, but it represents Glenn's death fake out. So she is part of the couple that is involved in the death fake out because that's what's happening during 6A. At that point, Glenn and Maggie have not been reunited yet. They actually reunite in the next episode in 609. So you could even argue that the reason we saw it in 608 is because the resurrection was about to happen for Maggie. Now, at that point, the audience did know Glenn was alive because we saw him in 607 and him and Enid are outside the walls. But again, Maggie just doesn't know that he's alive yet. And he was semi-dead for the audience for a time. Not very many people believed it because we didn't see it in a way that was super obvious he had died, even though it looked like the walkers were eating his guts. It was still a little bit fishy. But for about three episodes from 603 to 607, I guess that's four episodes, we didn't know whether he was alive or not. Okay, so anytime you see the combination of green and red, you can bet that it's about death and resurrection. Next, let's talk about yellow. Yellow is a big deal because Beth was wearing a yellow polo in 4B. She put one on when they were in the golf club, and then she put it back on in Coda before she was shot. We believe that yellow represents living, or more specifically, escape, but often escape from death or escape from hell. First of all, when we first saw her put on the yellow polo, she also put a white sweater over it. Now, that was a little bit of a ridiculous detail because when still was taking place, it was midsummer. It was so hot outside that they were both pouring sweat throughout most of the episode. So there was really no reason for her to put on a sweater. And I can't imagine if you're in a building in Georgia where there's no air conditioning and it's got to be close air and really hot and hard to breathe in there that you would even think to put on a sweater. But the reason they had her do that was because they were trying to foreshadow something and they needed to make a point and they needed to have her have something on that she could take off the sweater and still be wearing the yellow polo. If her yellow polo had gotten blood all over it, they wouldn't have been able to do this very well. So when Daryl is beating up on the walker, he gets blood all over her and she glares at him and is really mad, but she takes off the sweater. Now, some of the blood did stay in the yellow polo, but she opts to leave that on and just loses the sweater. This, I believe, 
is a foreshadow of her getting shot. The blood hitting her portends her being shot in some way. And Daryl is there when she's shot. So this is something he sees. She takes off the sweater to show that underneath the obvious, underneath what's on the surface, she still lives and keeps going. Then we see her come out on the other side of the golf club and utter her famous words, we made it. So this was a foreshadow of her getting shot. Hence, the yellow represents her escaping death in some way. Now, because they're in the golf club, the golf club also represents hell. I haven't talked about that in the videos, but I have talked about it on my blog before. The writers actually told us that the golf club represented Dante's hell or the nine circles of hell. For Beth, hell was Grady, so it represents her surviving Grady somehow. A couple of other things that feed into the symbolism. When she's at Grady, she and Noah try to escape, right? And as they're escaping through the basement, you can see these yellow pipes behind them, bright yellow. And they're literally trying to escape at that point. Noah gets out. The escape doesn't go so well for Beth. They pull her back in. But the point is, escape equals yellow. And then there's the fact that we had the Beth Flash in the opening credits that ran from season five to through season nine. It only changed when Rick left, in which we see Beth running and she's wearing her yellow polo. So it represents some sort of escape. Finally, one of the biggest sequences for me that shows these colors has to do with Operation Lead the Walkers Away in 6A. Even aside from the red car, their starting point was marked with red balloons. Their second or middle station was marked with yellow balloons, and the final station was marked with green balloons, which Glenn ended up releasing in the sky to let Maggie know he was alive. So I believe that they use this as a sequence or a template for all of the death fake outs. The red represents the person dying, or at least the other characters and sometimes the audience believing that they're dying. The yellow represents them escaping, but the characters and or the audience not realizing it. And then the green represents them being alive or being found alive and reuniting with their loved ones. This happened very literally with Glenn because he released the balloons so that Maggie would know he was alive. But I believe this will happen with Beth and Rick and eventually Ezekiel too, although we haven't seen his death fake out yet. I think we'll see that next season. Another color we see quite often is blue. I will admit that blue is probably the hardest one to pin down for me. Originally, a lot of people suggested that blue represented imprisonment in TWD world because Beth wears blue scrubs pretty much the entire time she's at Grady. However, we've seen a lot of other characters that show up in blue, and I can't always tie them to imprisonment in any way. Sometimes you can. So it's kind of hard to, to understand what blue means. It feels like they use it so often that we've never been able to really define it in a concrete way. In terms of general blue symbolism, it represents the color of the sky and of the sea, of course. And Beth is definitely associated with the ocean and with water in general. It also symbolizes trust, loyalty, wisdom, confidence, intelligence, faith, truth, and heaven. So any of those could apply to Beth in a very general way, but I think The Walking Dead uses it in a more specific way than that, and we haven't entirely pinned down what exactly the criteria is for dressing someone in blue or using blue as a general symbol. I will say, however, that one of the things we've noticed are a lot of blue coolers, and that is linked directly to the frosty cola symbolism, to water and to the return or the serious symbol, the dog star symbol. So in that way, we can also link it to Beth's return or resurrection. We're just not sure what the actual color, like when the writers of the show decided to make something blue, what they're exactly thinking that represents to them. But we do see it a lot. So something to keep an eye out for. The only other colors I'm going to address today are the black and white colors. People first noticed these at Grady because they focused on Beth's shoes and they had she had black and white shoelaces. Then after she was shot in the episode Them, when Daryl sits by the barn and self-harms and then cries, he's got black and white ties around his legs. Most people believed that those were actually her shoelaces and he took them. I'm not entirely sure that's true. It may be. We didn't see him take them. And so it, it could be true. I, I'm not really committed one way or the other to whether it is, but I also think they really could be just different black and white ties. Either way, the writers are trying to tie the two of them together. And the reason I think they use that is because they complement each other so well. They're kind of like black and white, yin and yang, light and dark. I mean, they they just, their personalities always complemented each other really well. So it's a way to show that she was his soulmate. But it's also been used in other places in the show. For one thing, we've seen both black and white horses, or at least light colored horses, they're not always stark white, but the light horse generally represents Beth, and it represents 
living, and the black horse, Buttons, represented death. For a long time, I said it represented Daryl, and I think it did in that case. He actually says that it represents him because he sort of likens himself to the horse, saying that you used to belong to somebody, now you just belong to yourself. But the horse dying also represents him losing Beth. So I believe the dark horse often represents death, either emotional or physical, and the white horse represents life and resurrection. So we see them used in various ways in that sense. It's also interesting to note that the white dog in Alone, which represented Beth because it had one eye and therefore was an embodiment of the dog star symbolism, was white, and the dog Daryl has now is dark in color. So we can see these contrasts all throughout the series. Oh, actually, let's talk about pink real fast. Pink is another color I want to go over because we often see pink in scenes that have other Beth symbolism in them. Things like North Star or Sirius symbolism, resurrection symbolism, things like that. We saw her wear pink a few times. But some of the biggest ones come, for example, from Still, where she picked up an ashtray that was shaped like a pink bra. She made a big deal about it, and they really drew attention to it in the episode. Much, much, much later, when they had a whole bunch of former TWD characters be on the pre-show, including Emily and Scott Wilson, she wore this outfit. It looks exactly like that pink bra from Still, and we believe that was purposeful to associate Beth with pink. And of course, one of the most compelling instances of pink is the music box itself. The ballerina in, is, in it is pink, and the interior and patches of the exterior are both pink. All right, so those are instances of pink. I'll give you a few instances of other colors so that you can take a look at them. Enid first showed up to Alexandria wearing a red hoodie, and the car that her parents died in was red. All of those represent death in some way. We see a red car in the beginning of season six when they're doing Operation Lead the Walkers Away from Alexandria. There's a red car that Sasha is driving that is helping to lead the horde away from Alexandria's gates. And the interesting thing about that is that the only people in the car are Abraham and Sasha, and both of them die not too long after that. Abraham dies by the end of the season thanks to Negan, and Sasha dies the season after that also thanks to Negan. There are other things we could point to in that sequence that show, kind of point to them dying in All Out War, which is coming during season seven. But the point is the red car represents their deaths. We also see Rosita give a red taillight necklace to Abraham and he dies shortly thereafter. Once he dies, Sasha starts carrying it. She wears it right before she dies. Some instances of green that we've seen inc include the green jasper rock that Daryl found in the middle of the road in 4A. Most of us always thought that that represented Beth. There are a lot of green foods that we see in alone at the funeral home, we saw okra around Beth and Daryl. Then there's all the pickle stuff. We've actually seen a lot of pickles, and the pickles are probably linked to the St. Nicholas pickle story, which is about St. Nicholas resurrecting three people, and we do believe they're using that as a template, for part of the template for Beth's return. So yeah, these are the colors, and we do pay attention to them, and I hope this is helpful to you guys. All right, see you next time.